my dear friends in Christ, on this most holy night, when our Lord Jesus Christ passed from death to life, the Church invites her children throughout the world to come together in vigil and prayer. This is the Passover of the Lord. If we honor the memory of his death and resurrection by hearing his word and celebrating his mysteries, then we may be confident that we shall share his victory over death and live with him forever in God. Let us pray. Father, we share in the light of your glory. Through your Son, the light of the world, make this new fire holy and inflame us with new hope purifying our minds by this Easter celebration and bring us one day to the feast of eternal life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Christ yesterday and today, the beginning and the end, the Alpha, the Omega. All time belongs to Him. To Him be glory and power through every age, forever and ever. Amen. By His Holy. Christ our Lord guard us keep us. Amen. May the light of Christ rising in glory dispel the darkness of our hearts and minds. Christ our light, thanks be to God. Christ our light, thanks be to God. our light. Thanks be to God. 
the Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Rejoice, heavenly powers, sing choirs of angels. Exalt all creation around God's throne. Jesus Christ, our King, is risen. Sound the trumpet of salvation. Rejoice, O earth, in shining splendor, radiant in the brightness of your King. Christ has conquered and glory fills you. Darkness vanishes forever. Rejoice, O Mother Church, exult in glory. The risen Savior shines upon you. Let this peace resound with joy, echoing the mighty song of all God's people. It is truly right that with full hearts and minds and voices we should praise the unseen God, the all-powerful Father, and His only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For Christ has ransomed us with His blood and paid for us the price of Adam's sin to our eternal Father. This is our Passover feast, when Christ, the true Lamb, is slain, whose blood consecrates the homes of all believers. This is the night, when first you saved our fathers, you freed the people of Israel from their slavery, and led them dry shod through the sea. This is the night, when Christians everywhere washed clean from sin and freed from all defilement are restored to grace and grow together in holiness. This is the night when Jesus Christ broke the chains of death and rose triumphant from the grave. Father, how wonderful your care for us, how boundless your merciful love. To ransom a slave you gave away your son, O oh, happy fault, O oh, necessary sin of Adam, which gained for us so great a Redeemer. The power of this holy night dispels all evil, washes guilt away, restores lost innocence, brings mourners joy. Night truly blessed, when heaven is wedded to earth and man is reconciled with God. Therefore, Heavenly Father, in the joy of this night, receive our evening sacrifice of praise, your church's solemn offering. Accept this Easter candle, may it always dispel the darkness of this night. May the morning star, which never sets, find this flame still burning. Christ, that morning star who came back from the dead and shed his peaceful life on all mankind, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, we have begun our solemn vigil. Let us now listen attentively to the word of God, recalling how he saved his people throughout history and in the fullness of time, sent his own Son to be our Redeemer. Through this Easter celebration, may God bring to perfection the saving work he has begun in us. reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, God said, Let us make man in our own image, after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild creatures and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the divine image, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply, fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living things that move on the earth. 
God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food. To all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the good plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything that he had made, and he found it very good. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O my God, you are great indeed. You are clothed with majesty and glory and robed in light as with a cloak. You fix the earth on its foundation, not to be moved forever. With the ocean as with a garment you covered it, above the mountains the water stood. You send forth springs into the water courses and wind among the mountains. Beside them the birds of heaven dwell. From among the branches they send forth their song. You water the mountains from your palace. The earth is replete with the fruit of your works. You raise grass for the cattle and vegetation for men's use, producing bread from the earth. How mindful are your works, O Lord! In wisdom you have brought them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Alleluia. Lord, send out your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. Lord God, the creation of man was a wonderful work. His redemption still more wonderful. May we persevere in right reason against all that entice us to sin, and so attain to everlasting glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to go forward, and you lift up your staff and with hand outstretched over the sea, split the sea in two, that the Israelites may pass through it on dry land. But I will make the Egyptians so obstinate that they will go in after them. Then I will receive glory through Pharaoh and all his army, his chariots and charioteers. The Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I receive glory through Pharaoh and his chariots and charioteers. The angel of the Lord who had been leading Israel's camp now moved and went around behind them. The column of cloud also leaving the front took up its place behind them, so that it came between the camp of the Egyptians and that of Israel. But the cloud now became dark, and thus the night passed without the rival camps coming any closer together all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea with a strong east wind through the night, so they turned into dry land. When the water was thus divided, the Israelites marched into the midst of the sea on dry land, with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. The Egyptians followed and pursued all Pharaoh's horses and chariots and charioteers went after them, right into the midst of the sea. In the night watch just before dawn, the Lord cast upon the column of the fiery cloud upon the Egyptians' forces a glance that threw it into a panic. And so he clogged their chariot wheels that they could hardly drive. With that, the Egyptians sounded the retreat before Israel, because the Lord was fighting them against the Egyptians, for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord told Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, so that the water may flow back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots and their charioteers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea flowed back to its normal depth. The Egyptians were fleeing head on toward the sea when the Lord hurled them into its midst. As the water flowed back, it covered the chariots and the charioteers of Pharaoh's whole army, which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them escaped. But the Israelites had marched on dry land through the midst of the sea with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel so that that day from the power of the Egyptians. When Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the seashore and beheld the great power that the Lord had shown against them, 
they feared the Lord and believed in him and in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he is cast into the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my Savior. He is my God, I praise him. The God of my Father, I extol him. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and army he has hurled into the sea. The elite of his officers were submerged in the Red Sea. The floodwaters covered them. They sank into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O Lord, magnificent in power. Your right hand, O Lord, has shattered, shattered the enemy. You brought it in the people you redeemed and planted them in the mountain of your inheritance. The place where you made your seat, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Let us pray. Lord God, in the new covenant, you shed light on the miracles you worked in ancient times. The Red Sea is a symbol of our baptism, and the nation you freed from slavery is the sign of your Christian people. May every nation share the faith and privilege of Israel and come to new birth in the Holy Spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, all you who are thirsty, come to the water. You who have no money, come receive grain and eat. Come without pain, without cost. Drink wine and milk. Why spend your money for what is not bread, your wages for what fails to satisfy? Heed me and you shall eat well, you shall delight in rich fare. Come to me heedfully, hear, listen, that you may have life. I will renew with you the everlasting covenant, the benefits assured to David, as I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of nations. So shall you summon a nation you knew not, and nations that knew you not shall run to you because of the Lord your God. The Holy One of Israel, he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found, call him when he is near. May the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God who is generous and forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are my ways your ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above yours and my thoughts above your thoughts. For just as from the heavens the rain and snow come down, and do not return till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to him who sows and bread to him who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth, and shall not return to me void, but shall do my will, achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. God indeed is my Savior, I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, for he has been my Savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name among the nations, make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. Let us pray. 
Almighty, ever-living God, only hope of the world, by the preaching of the prophets, you proclaim the mysteries we are celebrating tonight. Help us to be your faithful people, for it is by your inspiration alone that we grow in greatness, goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer for you alone are the holy one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high jesus christ with the holy spirit in the glory of god the father Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, you have brightened this night with the radiance of the risen Christ. Quicken the spirit of sonship in your church. Renew us in mind and body to give you wholehearted service. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Are you not aware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Through baptism into his death we were buried with him so that just as Christ was buried from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. If we have been united through him, through likeness to his death, so shall we be through a like resurrection. This we know. Our old self was crucified with him so that the sinful body might be destroyed and we might be slaves to sin no longer. A man who is dead has been freed from sin. If we have died with Christ, we believe that we are also to live with him. We know that Christ, once raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no more power over him. His death was death to sin once for all. His life is life for God. In the same way, you must consider yourselves dead to sin, but alive for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The right hand of the Lord is struck with power, the right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Mighty God, please be my lips that I may bring the people clean here from the gospel. 
May the Lord be with you. I read from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene came with the other Mary to inspect the tomb. Suddenly there was a mighty earthquake, as the angel of the Lord descended from heaven. He came to the stone, rolled it back, and sat on it. In appearance he resembled a flash of lightning, while his garments were dazzling as snow. The guards grew paralyzed with fear of him and fell down like dead men. Then the angel spoke, addressing the women. Do not be frightened, I know you are looking for Jesus, the crucified. But he is not here, he has been raised exactly as he promised. Come and see the spot where he was laid. Then go quickly and tell his disciples he has been raised from the dead. And now goes ahead of you to Galilee, where you will see him. That is the message I have for you. They hurried away from the tomb, half overjoyed, half fearful, and ran to carry the good news to the disciples. Suddenly, without warning, Jesus stood before them and said, Peace. Then the women came up and embraced his feet and did in homage as Jesus said to them, do not be afraid, go and carry the news to my brothers that they are to go to Galilee where they will see me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Holy Gospel wipe away our sins. My dear friends, may the joy of the risen Christ be with you. Tonight we celebrate the great mystery of the Christian religion, that of a man who was brutally beaten, hung on a cross, left there to die, taken down from the cross and his body placed in another person's tomb. This Easter Vigil is the culmination of a three-day series that began on Holy Thursday with the celebration of the Lord's Supper that continued on yesterday with the celebration of his suffering and death. And this, the third day, the day that he was risen from the dead. This is the great mystery of the church. This is the great mystery that gives us hope the great mystery that gives us life, the great mystery that gives us light. As there are no baptisms, we will go to the blessing of the water and the renewal of our baptismal promises. My dear brothers and sisters, let us ask the Lord our God to bless this water he has created, which we will use to recall our baptism. May he renew us and keep us faithful to the spirit we have all received. Lord our God, this night your people keep prayerful vigil. Be with us as we recall the wonder of our creation the greater wonder of our redemption. Bless this water. It makes the seed to grow, it refreshes us and makes us clean. You have made it, made of it a servant of your loving kindness. Through water you set your people free and quench their thirst in the desert. 
With water the prophets announced a new covenant that would make with that you would make with humanity. By water made holy by Christ in the Jordan, you made our sinful nature new in the bath that gives us rebirth. Let this water remind us of our baptism. Let us share the joys of our brothers and sisters who are baptized this Easter. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear friends, through this great Paschal mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so that we may rise with him to a new life. Now, with what we have, now that we have completed our Lenten observance, let us renew the promises we made in our baptisms. And we rejected Satan and his works, and promised to serve God faithfully in his holy church. Do you reject Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. Do you reject the glamour of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. Do you reject Satan, father of sin and prince of darkness? I do. Do you believe in God the Father, almighty creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died, and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. God, the all-powerful Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has given us a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and forgiven our sins. May he also keep us faithful to our Lord Jesus Christ forever and ever. Amen. I saw water flowing from the side of the temple. Alleluia. It brought forth God's life and his salvation. And the people sang in joyful praise. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have this bread to walk with which earth is given in human hands that made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have the spirit, wine to offer, fruit of the vine and of the of human hands. Let it become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the gifts we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his church. Lord, accept the prayers and offerings of your people. With your help, may this Easter mystery of our redemption bring to perfection the saving work you have begun in us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. We praise you with greater joy than ever on this Easter night when Christ became our Paschal sacrifice. He is the true Lamb who took away the sins of the world. By dying, he destroyed our death. By rising, he restored our life. And so with all the choirs of angels in heaven, we proclaim your glory and join in the unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We come to you, Father, we praise and thanksgiving through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him we ask you to accept and to bless these gifts we offer you in sacrifice. We offer them for your holy church, watch over and guide and grant and peace and unity throughout the world. We offer them for all who hold and teach the faith that comes to us from the apostles. Remember, Lord, your people, especially those for whom we now pray. For all of my loved ones, for family, for friends, for all those who ask me to pray for them or who stand 
Most of these are my prayers are those that I promise to pray for and for all those who have no one to remember them. Remember all of us gathered here before you. You know how firmly we believe in you and dedicate ourselves to you. We offer you this sacrifice of praise for ourselves and those who are dear to us. We pray to you, our living and true God, for our well-being and redemption and union with the whole church. We celebrate that night when Jesus Christ our Lord rose from the dead in his human body. We honor Mary the Virgin Mother, the ever-Virgin Mother of Jesus Christ our Lord and God. We honor Joseph her husband, the apostles and martyrs Peter, Paul, Andrew, James, John, Tom, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, and Jude. We honor Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, March, Chrysogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, the martyrs, and all the saints. May their merits and prayers give us your constant help and protection. Father, accept this offering from your whole family. Grant us your peace in this life, save us from divine or damnation, and blot, count us among those you have chosen. Bless and approve our offering. Make bless and approve our offering. Make it acceptable to you in offering in spirit and in truth. Let it become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, your only Son. The day before he suffered, he took bread. And looking up to you as Almighty Father, he gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Father, we celebrate the memory of Christ, your Son, and your people, and your ministers recall his passion, his resurrection from the dead, and his ascension into glory. And from the many gifts you have given us, we offer you, God of glory and majesty, this holy and perfect sacrifice, the bread of life, and the cup of eternal salvation. Look with favor on these offerings and accept them as once you accepted the gifts of your servant Abel, the sacrifice of Abraham, our Father, in faith, and the bread and wine offered by your priest, Melchizedek. Almighty God, we pray that you and may take this sacrifice to your altar in heaven. Then as we receive from this altar the sacred body and blood of your Son, let us be filled with every grace and blessing. Remember, Lord, those who have died and have gone before us marked with the sign of faith, especially those for whom we now pray. For all my deceased family, friends, loved ones. For the deceased family, friends, and loved ones of those who are dear to me. For all those whose lives have touched us, for all those whose lives we have touched, for all those who have no one left to remember them. May these and all who sleep in Christ find in your presence light, happiness, and peace. For ourselves do we ask some share in the fellowship of your apostles and martyrs with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all the saints. Though we are sinners, we trust in your mercy and love. Do not consider what we truly deserve, but grant us your forgiveness through Christ our Lord. Through him you give us all these gifts. You fill them with life and goodness. You bless them and make them holy. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy keep us free from sin, and protect us from all anxiety, as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I give you peace, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. You grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the risen Christ be with you always, and also with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. May this mean with the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us to receive it. Lord Jesus Christ, your faith and love and mercy and your body and your blood, and not bring your condemnation to health and mind and body. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. The body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us to receive it. Christ has become our Paschal sacrifice. Let us feast with the unlike.